Hey guys, this will be a quick review on the Survive Outdoors Longer Origin Survival Kit. It seems like it's kind of corny, but for $30 it's decent. Also, in comparison to how bad it could be, it's actually more than I was expecting it to be. I bought one of each just to see the difference. From the pictures, it looked like this was just a direct copy of the original. And if you look at the layout on the back, it looks like if it wasn't just an authorized retooling, um, just a direct copy with absolutely no uh, attempt to try to differentiate the two. It is not a direct tooling, retooling, because you can tell from the mold lines that it's a different mold. And then under closer inspection, you can see that there is a little bit of difference between some of the components. Like, whereas there's a little bit better fit and finish on the Survive Outdoor Longer one, where like the button compass more easily slides out, this one, it's a lot tighter fit, doesn't come out as easily. Um, the little lock that keeps the knife in that Survive Outdoor Longer one and latches it back in place works a lot better than this one. This one's already broken on me a couple times, um, does not work as well. Um, the Fire Striker does not work as well, so with the Survive Outdoor's Longer one, you can tell both directions sparks. This one, even if you go the direction that it says to go on the tool itself, if you can tell a little arrow on there, it says to spin it this direction. I cannot get, I cannot get any sparks to come out. If I go the other direction, I get sparks. So it's just kind of funny. That doesn't work as designed. Um, also, the knife is slightly different. It's a small knife. It's not great quality steel or anything, but there's a small difference between the two. It's a different blade. It'd be hard to tell from the video, but very small difference in the shape of the, um, the sharp portion of the blade. Um, whereas the Survive Outdoors Longer and this other off-brand are the same shape and size. They both have a whistle on the back end. They both have a light. Only this one actually works. This one does not. I haven't taken it apart to see if it just doesn't have a battery, but big difference between the two. One comes with the battery and actually works. This one does not work. Maybe it just doesn't have a battery. Um, if you want to actually continue to use the lock, then put the knife in this orientation light on this end, whistle on that end. It will lock the little latch if you don't. If you want to be able to take it in and out more easily, you can put it in either upside down or backwards. Um, but hitting the little notch right here is what engages the lock. If you want to be able to use the light, you have to obviously have the light facing outwards, so either this way or this way. If you put it in upside down, you're not going to be able to use the light separately from the kit without removing it, but it's not a very powerful light anyways. Um, there's a very small size difference. They look like they're the same overall profile, but this one's a little bit taller from front to back. The size for the original, with them both being uh, like the exact same weight and then being rated at 6.1 ounces, this is 3.875 inches across and 2.75 inches deep and then for the height it's 1.5 inches. This is just a tiny bit taller. Um, you can tell from the top that the Survive Outdoors Longer brand actually has something on the top. So it's a signal mirror, instructions on how to use it, um, and then a little protective plastic coating. Probably take that off before you actually go to use it, but leave it on before up until that point so you're not scratching the mirror and reducing the range. This is rated at with the sun being out as much as 20 miles of range of trying to use it to get someone's attention. This completely missing does not have a signal mirror on the top. Um, otherwise it does not seem like there's that much else different about the two from the outside. When you go onto the inside that's a pretty big difference so this 5 ultra is longer. It actually has a decent quality rubber gasket all the way around. It is somewhat waterproof, probably not completely submersible and waterproof, but 
Uh, if you were to get it splashed with smaller amounts of water, it would do a lot better job of keeping water up than this one. Because this is completely missing any sort of gasket that would keep it waterproof. The components on the inside, you can tell this is just modeled after the original. So, got a little metal clip here that keeps your little survival guide 62 in, or 62 life saving tools and tips missing from this one. You've got some fishing equipment, so four number 10 fishing hooks, some fishing line, four safety wires, or four safety pins, four tinder quick to go along with that fire striker. These are both obviously in waterproof containers, little roll of safety wire, some thread, and then a little piece of aluminum foil for whatever use you want. You can also, if you don't like the components that are in here, don't see any use for it, you can replace the components and reorient whatever you'd like to put in this kit. It's obviously not a ton of space for a whole lot else, or even if you replace things, not a lot of space for anything big. But it's kind of cool. Maybe something cool to keep in your glove box, stocking stuff or something like that. As far as the off-brand, you can tell that they tried to copy, like I said, or model everything off of the components in here. Um, not as good of quality of plastic bags, these are probably still waterproof, but a couple small little fishing hooks with some fishing line. Don't know a whole lot about fishing, but some sort of other like fishing bait, lure or something. These are just, it seems like, real rough thread. I don't even know if it's actually flammable. Does not seem anywhere near the same quality as the Tinder Quicks that were in the Survive Outdoors longer one. Um, like I said, I don't know if it's actually flammable. It's just like real rough braided twine. Um, it's at least in a waterproof bag, so if this were to get wet, hopefully it doesn't completely ruin your fire starting ability. This is pretty corny. I don't know if it's even worth including or even worth the amount of space that it takes up in the kit. It's just one of those little wire cutters. I don't feel like you could get a whole lot of torque on this before you break the braid. Um, there's a tiny little bit of... I'm sure you've seen these before, but they're pretty corny little wire cutters. I don't need to say much else about it. Um, two random band-aids. And then the last thing that I thought was going to possibly redeem the whole kit was the ferrocene rod with a little striker. However, tried to get it to work. I could not get this to actually emit any sort of uh, spark. I could have been doing it wrong, I suppose, but I just, I don't think it's actually a normal ferrocene rod material. Whether it's magnesium or what it's actually made of, um, it might not even be flammable whatsoever. So it does not seem like the, this is even worth the amount of space that it takes up. I would probably replace it with something else or at least get a fair seam rod and striker that actually does work rather than just have it take up the space in this kit. Um, so you can see, not super impressive with being roughly $30 for the Survive Outdoors Longer kit, but in comparison to how bad it could be, it's actually maybe worth the money. Um, it's at least a good starting point or a way to supplement another more thorough, well thought out kit.